Today, I will tell you three places you have to see at Gyeongbokgung Palace. Before we start, let me give you some information. Taejo, the first king of Joseon Dynasty, decided to build a new palace. And Gyeongbokgung was built in 1395. The name of Gyeongbokgung means the blessing for the new dynasty. Okay then, let's continue. First place is the Gwanghwamun Gate. Gwanghwamun Gate is the main gate to Gyeongbokgung Palace. There are three gates called Gnabun Gate. If you enter the middle Gnabun Gate, you can discover the Jujak bird on the ceiling. Jujak bird is a phoenix which expresses the guardian for the palace. Gwanghwamun Gate is magnificent and wonderful. And the night view of Gwanghwamun Gate is so nice. I think Gwanghwamun Gate is the most important and best gate in Gyeongbokgung Palace. Second place is the Gyeongjongjong Hall. Gyeongjongjong Hall is a really important place in Gyeongbokgung Palace because many ceremonies and events were held here. For example, King's coronation, the reception of foreign ambassadors, the royal wedding ceremony were held here. And the inside of Gyeongjongjong Hall has really bright color and exquisite pattern. So I think it would be a good experience to visit this place. Last place is the Gyeongweru. Gyeongweru is the national treasure number 224. It is a kind of party. Unfortunately, Gyeongweru had burned down during the Japanese invasion of Korea 1592 and reconstructed in 1867. The reason I recommend Gyeongweru is this. Gyeongweru is the most beautiful place in Gyeongbokgung Palace. If you spend some time in Gyeongweru, I'm sure you can have great memory there. Okay, that's all for today. I'm so grateful that I can give this presentation. Thank you for watching my video. Bye!